Hi, welcome to this week's Stalking the Wild Auto Harp, where I am going to be start teaching you how to find the melody chords when you only have the rhythm chords, okay? Now real quick, um, this is a video for people who are just beginning in melody playing, um, or you're, you always have your melody chords written out and you've, you're, you've been using books like that, but you want to go beyond the book, how do you find the melody chords that you need? How do you figure that out, either by ear or by rote? How do you do it? So we're going to start here and we're going to talk about that with this beginner video on melody playing. Now let me differentiate for you in case you don't realize. Rhythm chords are the big chords that are written above the lyrics or above the staff that tell you when to change chords. So if I was going to play, for example, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, and I was playing the rhythm chords... Notice how seldom they change. That's because your voice is carrying the melody over the top of it. If you were playing that just by itself, it hardly seemed like you were playing the song, wouldn't it? But if you have the melody, Undertaker, please drive slow for the body. You are hauling. I hate for to see the go. Okay, so you'll notice that I'm not changing chords that often, okay? But if I was going to play the melody, I would have to get into some serious toggling around like this. My finger's doing a little dance. <laughs> Okay, so how do you find all that? All right, well, to get started, what you have to do is you have to understand what notes are in those three chords that you're using, okay? Now, some songs use four chords, some songs use two chords, okay? But in general, we talk about three main chords. I call it home row. Okay, and a lot of times it's the one, the four, and the five, seven, or the five. Okay, so in the key of C, it might be C, F, and G, or G7. All right, if you were playing in the key of C. Okay, so what I want everybody to do this is your homework. All right, and if you don't do the homework, you won't get to melody playing very fast. All right, so do your homework. All right. The homework is I want you to make flashcards. Teacher, do we got to make flat? Yes. We got to make flashcards. Start with your major chords. There's only seven of them on my harp. Make seven flashcards. Okay. Now I made these and I originally made them with marker so that you could see them better on the screen, but then they showed through. Okay, and no cheating. Okay, so um, I remade them with ballpoint pen, C major chord. Okay, now you start out, make seven of them, one for each major chord on your auto harp. You might have eight majors, but in any case, make one for each of your majors. And then on the back, you have to write the three notes that are in those major chords, okay? And I'm not going to tell you what they are. If you need to figure it out, or you can Google it. What notes are in a C major chord? What notes are in a G major chord? Learn them, write them on the back, and then drill with them, C major, okay? G major, F major. There's your three chords for the key of C, all right? Do your major chords, okay? And on the back, C major, write your three notes, all right? Now notice, between these three chords, C, 
G, and F, I have all the Do, Re, Mi notes, all the white notes on the piano, some of them twice. See? C, D, E, F, G. There's a G there again. G, A, B, C. So all these three buttons, each one of these chords represents a button, remember. These three buttons cover all of your Do, Re, Mi notes. And those are the only three that you need to play any major melody. Okay? So you learn these three. Okay? Learn the rest of them too. Memorize them. Be able, maybe it helps if you have any piano background. Picture the keyboard and what those chords look like on the keyboard. That's what I do. All right? So you learn them. Then go back and do your seventh chords. Now, the seventh chords may seem a little tricky, but here's the secret, okay? If you have, say, G major, G, B, D, a G7 just adds one more. All right? G, B, D, F. And the F is easy to picture because it is two notes below the root. See, because you go G, and then one note below that is F sharp, and two notes below that is F. So all you have to do is picture this triad, and then one more note that is two notes below this beginning note, which is the note that the chord is named after. All right, so now you've got seven chords that represent your majors and about seven that represent your sevenths. Okay, work with those. Don't even worry about the minors yet. Okay, after you get these pretty well learned, and remember, there's only seven of them, and you only need to learn seven of them and then learn the add another note trick. And you, now you've got 14 of them. Okay? My harp has 21, so there's seven minors too. And learn those. Okay? Because all of that is going to come in handy when you start figuring out which buttons you need to push to get your melody. Okay? Now I'm going to stop there. And we'll go on with that in a week or two. Um, we'll go on from there. But when you're figuring out your melody chords so that you can do all that toggling, if you have the rhythm chords to the song, you've got about 75% of your melody notes too. Because about 75-80% 70, of the notes will be contained in your main chords to your song. Okay? Then you just have to figure out which ones to toggle to for those little shorty notes that are in between. All right? So, not going to overcomplicate it yet. Hopefully I'm never going to overcomplicate it, but work with that. Get your homework done. Practice this and don't ever stop. Okay? Because if you stop, it might if your memory is like mine, it might all go out through the holes of the sieve and be gone, all right? But if you keep practicing it and you keep doing it by playing music and learning melodies and learning to play melody, then you'll be doing this constantly. You'll be working with these three main chords in your um, home row position of playing, and you will be able to play melody in a very short time just by toggling through them. So I'm Hal Weeks. If you feel like you need a little bit of um, focus time on this, you can get in touch with me and we can do lessons via Skype. I do that all the time. I have a number of students that I work with every week doing up close where you are at, dealing with your sticky wicket, whatever it happens to be. And I can help you with this right online. You don't have to leave your living room to do it. 
It works great. We do it through Skype. We do it through Google Hangouts. Um, and do either one lesson or a series of lessons, doesn't matter. You know, we will address your needs individually. So halweeks.com, there's a contact page. You can contact me about lessons through that. So until next time, I'm Hal Weeks. I'm stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Thanks for stalking with me. And uh, have some fun with this and make some flashcards. Yes, you, you can even decorate them if you want. Bye-bye.